This is a tutorial on the creator course design, the option in the new game, the golf club. And here I'm going to go ahead and open up my course that I saved, or that I published, which is neat because you can go back and re-edit. I'm going to go ahead and open that up right now. to show you the, the download time is pretty quick. I just started with the one. You can lay it out to be a 12 holes, 9 holes, uh, as many as you, I mean I, I think it just goes up to only 18 holes. So you can do, I'm gonna just try to start with 9 though. I'm gonna just start one at a time. But see on the bottom it says publish. Now you can publish, but I, I kind of think you, you uh, might want to just save and exit. That way you can just save your work until you're ready to publish. So I, I was kind of excited yesterday to publish it, just to kind of go into it real quick. But here, let's go ahead and start off with uh, placing objects on your course. Now here are in the left-hand corner, on the top screen, you can see here are the kind of listings of the different kind of objects. Now when you go into these, there's, there's, it goes even further into it. So we're going to go into all these uh, slowly. I'm going to first probably start with um, just placing, or let me just talk about moving the camera first. Once you, uh, it's kind of a, when you have to do the camera, now you have to realize you're manipulating the whole course. So just take your time and be slow with it. Now just pick your spot. Now first I'm just going to go into uh, just our first object. We'll just start with a simple sign or right to the right here. These are the signs that they have. Now I'm going to just kind of go into it. I think they're kind of markers or signs, but just a list of shows how detailed some of these will go into. Now in order to get this, this sign is going to be really small, so I'm just going to bring it back to my clubhouse. Now I'm just sort of I'm just picking my right spot. Now see that I'm trying to do this slow so you guys can see it. But now that sign is going to be really small, so we're going to have to zoom in, which is that R2. Now from here I can kind of show you what else they have. Now, now you can also change the angle on it by left and right. Now, I don't know why the sign's held so deep. I think it's because when I first started it, I raised the whole uh, landscape up, which I'll be showing later on in this video as well, too. Uh, so this is the list of the markers, uh, just to show. There's actually these that are kind of cool. I guess you could put this on your course to sort of mark it wherever it's 200 yards. I'm just going to... I'm just trying to see if I can... The sign's bigger than that, but... Well, I can't really put it in here, so I'm just going to put it in the corner over here for now. Now you want to push X and then the whole thing will kind of freeze for a moment, or you, you can't really build a controller, but then it that's it saving it for that moment. You just got to give it a couple seconds, and then when you, if you move to the right, you can see that it's saved when you have like a second one. Now here I'm going to add a bridge. <clears throat> Here's probably a, the right one I'm going to use, but you can angle it with your left and right. And here's just several uh, what kind of bridges they do have here. I almost wanted to use this one, I and mean, you probably can, but it just doesn't connect to the other end. Now you can manipulate the land probably to change that, but for now I just really want to kind of quickly go through what is on here. These are just the types of bridges you have. So I'm going to go ahead and go with this one, and we're going to X. Or right up here we're going to X and save it and when you see it saves it'll sort of do this you'll see two of them and then there we just put O and we're back to uh, uh, change it into a different uh, whatever you want to change it to next here's vehicles now of course the same the left and right you can change the uh, direction of the vehicle uh, I gotta put my limo somewhere so I'm gonna put one right here and I, I think I'm probably going to add a second one, just in case I have a guest. Now you can put a parking lot, I noticed, uh, in here. I think that hill just needs to be flattened to the right of these uh, limos. And there's also different kind of vehicles you can use, even a camper. Uh, right here shows you. 
Now we're going to go into boats. And uh, I'm going to just put one down here real quick. I'm not sure what's... Now, that wasn't a glitch, what you just saw right there. That was seriously a huge, huge boat, so that obviously wouldn't fit. So that's going to go somewhere else in this. And maybe in a second uh, course, right down the fairway, I'm going to put a boat. But yeah, there's like some huge carrier. If you look to the top screen to the left, next to this boat. So right here, I'm just going to drop my yacht. Try to put it like within distance. I'm going to save it. Now, I don't think I need two of them. But let's just add, see what else they have. Here's a, I think this is a sailboat or a somewhat a yacht. And I'm just going to put it back here. Get some little spot. I just want to add like little things to this, uh, my course. Just to make it interesting. Just to show uh, what you can do. Of course, that boat's not going to fit. Now here I'm going to go into the trees, or landscape. Uh, I'm just going to show you real quick. Uh, we'll put it back at our clubhouse. Here's the different types of trees. You can actually change the size and going up and down and making them smaller, which I didn't show. But um, over here, I'm going to show just where you can kind of add them on your course. Now this is other landscape I'm going to add, rocks. Now adding these you kind of have to zero in and zoom in on it in order to kind of see what these are. I'm just going to kind of show you real quick what kind of rocks they have, different sizes. Uh, I kind of want to use them to somewhat hide the edging on these trees. I mean that looks okay but for some reason I kind of wanted to, I don't know, put some edging around it to kind of make it just somewhat look more natural. I guess you could use several different kind of rocks to get that effect, but anywho, just real quickly, I'm just going to save those real quick, just to show you how quickly it kind of saves and you can go. Now, I also want to add a, show you something else I kind of like to do, it's this repeat effect that I'm going to show you on um, edges, like this edging right here, you can just add one and maybe add a, a second one just to hide these edges. You know, if you just continue going on along this edge, it would probably make your course look a little interesting. If someone hits a ball on one of these, it would be even interesting too. So, uh, but just to show you that effect right here, see how it, they kind of look nice and neat. Anywho, uh, next I'm going to go ahead and show some also some plant life. <clears throat> now you can add to the water. I believe these are lilies, or there's several kinds, but I also wanted to show how you can repeat effect on here for these edges on the water, too. I can kind of change the size of it, but mm, I don't think you can go too big. Just to show you how you can save it and it will actually float there. Uh, just to show that repeat effect again, that I had, see that whole, oops. You just want to come in and bring it. I'm probably going to have to zero, uh, zoom in, in here <clears throat> to kind of show you this effect. So you can just kind of go along that edge and just keep adding and adding. Might make the course a little bit more interesting. That's how you can kind of manipulate the water. Now here I had the flowers blown up. I'm not sure if that's just so you could see them, but it won't allow you to put it on there unless it's actually the, the, probably the size it's supposed to be, but that'll go right in the water. It's a couple of different types of plants. It'd be interesting if they added an add-on to this game so you can add more objects to the creator design. Now here we're going to go into adding buildings, and yeah, that's exactly what you're seeing. You could uh, left and right, so you can see the back end, front end. Now I'm going to have to, now I just shows you, I'm going to have to zoom out. Let's just take a simple object um, and just try to put it down. I want to show you kind of what other somewhat buildings they have. They have sheds. Uh, it, the list kind of goes not on and on, but it's, uh, there's a good amount. Now here's a, I think this is a gazebo. I want to bring it back to our clubhouse. Now see, now bringing things back, you... Here I'm just going to try to just simply bring it slowly. That's how I kind of bring my objects. Because you can accidentally save it somewhere and then you have to delete it. So it's 
easily, it's probably better to just go slowly. I'm doing this quickly because I, I know you don't really want to watch an hour long video. So I'm just going to try to put this, uh, just to show you that it'll save somewhere. I don't know why I'm, I think this tree kind of sounds, looks like a good place. So I'm going to go ahead and save it, and boom. I don't think I really want, but yeah, you really want to add, how about one of these? I'm not going to add that, but you could also add like different other things. You know, there's another clubhouse like the one we have there. Now here's a parking lot I was showing, talking about earlier. And I, just to see if I can actually add it under these cars, I kind of just changed it. But if you were to go in there and flatten that hill, I'm sure you can make that all nice and neat. At this point, it's not really important. Uh, to really go into doing that. I'm just kind of showing you that you can save it. I was curious to see if it'd save and actually look like a, and it kind of did, which is neat. So let's uh, go into other objects, these smaller objects. Now I wanted to see if I can actually put these on the clubhouse. I can put it on the course, but can I put it inside that clubhouse is what I'm curious about. Here's our, some of the, see right here I'm going to just go ahead and put this right inside the clubhouse save it and it's going to go ahead and stay which is cool those cups on the ground I, th I think we kind of need a trash can so let's add that <laughs> it's a nice trash can I wouldn't mind one of those but just to show you that you can actually add that I don't think I want to add a uh, trash can but here's a just to show you the other things um, what are we going into equipment here Okay, now this is, some of these objects are small, so you kind of have to zoom in. <clears throat> now, of course I'm going to want one of these, because how else am I going to get anywhere, right? Right from my limo to here. So I'm going to add one right there. Now here's that, like a rake that they use. It's really small, the object is. You can't really see it. This is my little shameless plug here. But I'm going to add it right in the middle of that com. Now this calm, I'm probably going to have to come back, I want to just let you know I have to delete this because I think when I play it later, I don't think I can hit it over the C part. But just a little note for later on in this video if you continue to watch. So next we're going to go ahead, I take my time on this part, this is the animal part. Um, there's a lot into this now, I, this is the first thing I said when I first saw this, is that a, that's a whale, right? So I have to bring it back to my clubhouse. Now this is an interesting. Uh, let me just zoom in here to do this one. I don't see it, but it's you kind of have it. Now when you save it, now this is weird. I was pushing X, and now there it is. But what it is is it's saving because it's actually like an animation. So when you kind of don't see it around, it's it's like somewhere in there. It's you see that. I don't really quite care for where the tail was. I don't really want it. It kind of looks fake, but for the time being, I think that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and look at the other animals we got here. This is and it's kind of cute, but the eagle. Now I, I pressed X on this, and I zoom out because I'm not sure where he is. I think when you do that, that just adds an eagle to your course, like it's out there flying somewhere. And same, I think with this seagull. I think I tried to do, but. See, I try to add that because I'm looking for it right now. And here's the butterflies. You'll actually see them in the in the screen right here. When I save it right here, and then you'll see like two of them. So you can add those. And here's some ducks. Now, you could do ducks or ducks, plural. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add these right there, right next to my little boat. Little thing of it. I almost want to get down there with my... Throw some breadcrumbs out to them right there. That was fun. I go into this animal one because it's kind of interesting. I was surprised at how many things they had on it. Now I'm going to add just some swan to it. So when you add that, I think there's just, just like an animation effect to it. So, you know, you have to kind of, when you add it, you'll just let it, it just seems like it's not there at first, but it is. Now here, a wolf. I think that might be kind of interesting on the desert terrain if you were to change your terrains. I'm using like uh, just a simple train, but the desert, the mountain trains. Now here's the alligator. Now, I wasn't sure if I really wanted to put them on my near my clubhouse to protect my uh, area just for the fun of it, but I, I figure you probably want to put them in the water. 
the poor swan there, but I'm pushing X at this moment. I'm trying to figure out, like, okay, is it what is it doing? But if you kind of see in there, you'll see one that actually starts to swim. So it's in there. I wonder if you could add, like, a bunch of those. Now here, if you're looking at that, that's the rattlesnake. <clears throat> now that, that's what I'm saying about the trains. When you uh, start your your creator, you can choose the background. So there's like four different types of trains. And I went with just the simple greens. But I added this guy there. I was almost about to add like six or eight of these right there in front. So right when you tee off, you see a snake. Now there's a tail. Did you see that? <laughs> It was just a brief moment. You might have to reverse that. So I got a whale. Yeah, at my club. So there's a. Let's see. What we're gonna go into next is. Um, I want to take you into how to raise and uh, how to raise and lower your landscapes. Now here, see it. That's the area I want to kind of use. So when you push X, it kind of knows, okay, so that's the area you'll manipulate. You can change that blue circle. You can make it smaller or bigger. But here I'm just going to push my R1, or and that's up and down. And you can, it can actually go, when I go all the way down, and it actually changes into water. See that effect? And you can just change it to where you want it. See, it's almost create like a pool. I don't want to really do that there. So what I'm going to do is just edge it right here. I'm just going to I'm just going to bring it up just to show you how high you can get it, which is uh, high enough. I'm going to bring it back down here, and now you can actually go to O and then change the shape of it, like you just wanted a hill. You can actually change and manipulate the landscape itself to the left and right, like a wave effect or whatever you want to do. I mean, I, I didn't really want to get too far into it just to show you what you can and really quick do. And you can always come back and can always flatten things. It's, you know, editing is, if you don't like something. Now, another thing I kind of remind, remind you of, I actually played a course after this, and then there's some things I didn't like about what my I had little things about it, like that dot .com. I couldn't really hit it over that, and then from there you kind of, want to see what you kind of like and don't like about your course and you can come back and change it which is good which is good because once you publish it you don't really want people to be saying like oh you know if they say I don't like this about your course or you don't have you know you need more of such and such you can go in there and change it or I don't know you can make it harder or you can actually make your course easier if you wanted to add more hazards and whatnot but here I'm just gonna add I add that little pool there again. Boom. Now here's how you add like a hazard when you go into those. I just simply press the X and it'll just you wait a moment. See that's to show you how long it takes to that's kind of a good example of how long it takes to save it. Now there's all kinds of different shapes you can use and you can make them of course bigger and smaller too. Just an example of these hazards I'll show you in a moment. Of course, there is, we go into our menu options here again. Now you can change the surface of your green. Now I made mine just flat. You can totally manipulate it to be hard. Put a bunch of bumps, uh, angle it way to the left like a huge hill. There's probably a million different things you could do adding rocks in there, but for me I just I wanted to simply go through it. Here's I, this part, is just kind of neat. It shows you that you can extend your green. So if you actually landed the ball over there, you still kind of could still putt from over there. I don't know, but just to show you, and when you're using this, you can kind of size it. You can put them on top of each other, and it'll somehow they'll they'll connect. And you can always undo it. There's a, a button. I think it's square button to undo it which just like in any other it'll undo the last thing you did now, of course there's my shameless plug back there now here I'm going to go into just saving it I don't want to change the name but you can do all that and I just want to save it so I can come back and I'm not ready to publish this one yet
I think I just saw my eagle fly. Now here's just uh, I'm gonna go into the example of now how we now once I'm actually published it, where is it? Now here I was a little I wasn't sure if I was gonna find it or what it is, but I realized if you're building these it's something that you can have your friends come and you could find it and they could play on yours. If someone out there finds yours interesting, they could play on it as well. Now, if you go into just normal, now you have to really play with the filters here on edit search. Now, when I go into just normal, it has the 22 courses, the, and now there's mine, of course, when I look at favorites. I could go into it right here, which I don't think I want to. Uh, Right here, I'm going to go ahead and go into our course. There's my shameless plug to show you when I was doing all the hazards. That's how you could really shape the different shapes you can do. Now, what I was kind of disappointed, what I was saying earlier, is I looked and you could see that there was like 16,000 different courses made or designed. So I'm kind of like I think mine was just hidden way in the URLs. But here's my my shot and here's a uh, me playing right in the beginning now like I said earlier you might want to test out your your course before you uh, really publish it I think I just saved it at this point so we're not published what's cool is you could save it and you can actually play on it which is what I'm I guess what I'm trying to say so right here I, I hit it yeah I sliced it so it's not the greatest and I didn't hit it full but I mean you know I kinda wanna I'm worried about whether you can hit it over those traps over there but I try to make this this course I just want to show you if you're still watching I wanted to make this interesting to where you can almost triple or I think double eagle or triple eagle on it so from this point if you really hit it just right you could really go straight at that that uh, flag but I'm gonna hit just go ahead and try to lay up what I looked at this was like I'm gonna have to kind of edit and make an area See, I want to make an area right over here to where it will land, and that's kind of, I don't know, it's not really quite fairway right there. I want it to maybe look like this. So that's what I'll probably edit about this site later, I mean over this course later. So I'm going to go ahead and hit it, so let's go ahead and play through with it. See, like I said, that part, I don't want it to land on some kind of like rough, I want it to be nice and smooth. And see, this point is perfect, because look at the, uh, the yards, 158 carry. And it's about 150. Well, it's about right on. So this you could totally go for a, um, you know, an eagle on this, a double eagle. A, <clears throat> excuse me, a double eagle right here. So I think this why is a good kind of opener for mine. I like people to be able to start out and be like, yeah, I'm too ahead if they get it just right. But I need to kind of go back and edit it to kind of make it, you know, to where you can do that. Now, of course, I, I need to still probably practice on my golf, though. That's probably the reason. Now, you see that yellow thing to the right? I also want to show you that. I guess they just have some guy playing. Well, they it's called like a ghost. So you have someone kind of playing along with you, but it's actually the same name as mine. It's just so you're not playing by yourself. So you might see the, his ball rolling through here. But just to show you. Now, see how flat my green is? Now, you could totally manipulate this. But uh, for me, I... I I'm having a hard time putting as it is, so I didn't want to make it too hard. But as I go along with my courses, uh, my second one, I think there's my ghost guy. He's rolled right by. He's not doing too well. But anywho, this is the end. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want more, please subscribe or bookmark my new website at darkroomatalira.com for previews and walkthroughs and more reviews.